Voice of Ninjas, Antonio over here. A casual video um, in collaboration with the homegirl, Sydney. There. What up, Sydney? She's a makeup slash hair guru on YouTube. Be sure to check her out. I'm gonna uh, actually uh, put her video in the end of my video. Practical, easy, lazy ass ways to take care of your skin and hair. Because I'm a lazy boy and I want everything simple. Just like my love life. <laughs> first thing you do is people will always say for healthy hair, healthy skin, you have to eat healthy. Yeah, that is never happening. But the easy thing to do is to constantly drink water. I may eat the most unhealthiest stuff on the planet, but I always, oh you stupid bird, shut up. But I always make sure to drink tons and tons of water. Water will hydrate your skin. It's good for your hair. It gets your body off the toxins. Um, and I drink a lot of alcohols. So water really replenishes all the nutrients that sort of like left the body. You need to drink lots of water, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, where you are, no matter what, drink water. It's good for your skin, good for your nails, good for your hair, it's good for your overall being. And let me tell you, working outside, I drink so much water and my hair grows so fast in the summer. Sydney has really amazing, curly, volumized hair. I have straight hair, so uh, one thing you should keep in mind is the way to dry your hair. Do not use the towel aggressively. So my hair is wet right now, so when using a towel, try to avoid to like, those heavy sort of like rough like kind of rubs dab it lightly first it makes a difference texture and the overall appearance to your hair another thing that's also wise to do is I know this is gonna be hard for a lot of people especially for the summer is to avoid the Sun of course you can't avoid like tanning now and then but the Sun really messes up the skin like the prolonged Sun on your skin will actually be really really bad and dehydrate your skin your skin will be prone to having wrinkles that's why i hang out in the dark all the time just like an asian vampire i low-key uh, am getting actually kind of scared right now i'm gonna turn the lights back on <laughs> i'm not bragging people always ask me antonio how's your skin so like well, not well, not well. They do say flawless. My skin is not flawless by any means, but they do say that. And thank you, I'm very flattered. But I do have techniques. One of my uh, techniques is that I always use moisturizer. This is by Nevea. This is a face, body, and hands lotion. Um, upon opening, <laughs> it's like I'm reviewing a hair product. Upon opening, it's literally like it's lotion. It smells like lotion. It looks like lotion. It feels like lotion. Just kidding, it probably does taste like lotion too. I normally use this on my face. It really does replenish your skin. It makes it fresh. I use a very tiny amount during the summer because too much I find makes my skin greasy and it becomes prone to pimples. But during coldish weather, I always use this. Uh, it, it really prevents from dry skin. It brings the natural sort of sheen, like shine to your skin, if that makes any sense. Every time you guys get a uh, blow dryer slash hair dryer, make sure to get one that has the cold shut button or the cold option. Hot heat will really, really damage uh, the hair follicles and will really make your hair dry and brittle. Um, I always, always blow dry with cold air. The only disadvantage in my opinion with using cold air is that it, it does take a much longer time to dry your hair. But to me, I think it works just as good as hot heat and if not better, because cold air actually gives your hair a natural sheen and natural shine uh, because it opens the hair follicles and it actually makes the, it gives the hair sort of this natural gloss. Um, but if that doesn't work uh, for your hair type, definitely, definitely use a heat protectant spray when dealing with hot heat. If you, if you guys are looking for, um, especially dudes, if you want uh, shampoo to give you stronger, healthier hair, 
tried these Head & Shoulders one. I actually just got back from CVS. This is my second bottle. It's such an amazing brand. Uh, it's very unique in that the consistency. Let's see if I can like show you guys a little. That looks really weird, but <laughs> the consistency is a little thicker. It lathers up really nicely in the hair. It has a mint flavor, mint flavor, a mint scent. It has like it gives your scalp that tingling sensation because of the mint. I do notice that uh, hair is more volumized and just much more fuller using the shampoos. It's head and shoulders, two in one, and um, full and thick. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, ninjas. Uh, next will be uh, Sydney's video, which is gonna be super magical compared to mine. Be sure to check her out. She's amazing, she's really fun, she's so entertaining on YouTube. A lot of my viewers are uh, makeup gurus and, and salon stylists, so this is gonna be really cool and really helpful for you guys, so be sure to check her out. Is your summer hair making you feel like this? And would you rather have your hair making you feel like this? Well, I might be able to help you out there. It's Sydney. I'm outside today because it was a beautiful day outside. So if you hear like birds chirping and cars in the background, then that's why. Guys, it is summertime. It is real. It is here. It is happening. And if you have curly hair, that means that you're probably going to have your hair natural a lot more often because it rains and it's really humid outside and you want to go swimming. Now having curly hair, I know that it can be the struggle. Let me tell you. I grew up hating my hair. I hated everything about my hair. How frizzy it was, how big it was. I tried to straighten it all the time. I permed it all the time. And the reason why I hated my hair was mostly because I didn't know how to take care of it. So I'm here today to try, so I'm here today to try and help you guys not hate your hair. I'm not a curly hair expert, but I am a curly hair person. So I thought maybe I could help you guys out. Oh, and FYI, these aren't real tattoos or anything. I work at an amusement park. I do face painting and like henna tattoos and other types of like fake tattoos and that's why I'm team tatted right now. This video is a collab with my friend Antonio and he has a hair channel and he is so funny and his videos are so good and he was one of my first friends on YouTube so please go check out his channel after this video. So without further ado, let's get into my curly hair tips for summer. First tips I have for you guys is to make sure that you wet your hair before you go into a chlorinated pool. And the reason for this is because your hair is going to absorb whatever you put into it. So obviously if you're going to swim, your hair is going to absorb all those like bad chemicals, a lot of like chlorine, and that is really drying to your hair. So what I like to do is to put my hair into the sink or to just take a shower right before I swim and get my hair nice and soaking wet and put a lot of conditioner and leave-in conditioner into it. So that way when you swim, your hair is already full of something so it's hard for it to like absorb more stuff. You, you get what I'm saying? And one leave-in conditioner that I love to use is my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And if you saw my curly hair video, you know that this is like my go-to product. It's like the only product that I use for my hair because it just smells so good and it works so good and it's just... Another thing that I like to do in the summer when I go swimming is to make sure that my hair is up in a bun and not down because if you swim with your hair down, it really gives the chlorine a chance to penetrate all of your hair strands. It makes it really dry and it gets it all tangled up and then you're going to have to like go through and brush your hair and rip your hair out later. So what I like to do is after I wet my hair and put all my leave-in conditioner into it, I like to throw my hair up into a bun that helps keep the moisture and not make it so tangly. My next tip would be to drink lots of water, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, where you are, no matter what, drink water. It's good for your skin, good for your nails, good for your hair, it's good for your overall being. And let me tell you, working outside, I drink so much water and my hair grows so fast in the summer. So yes, if you take anything from this video, just make sure that you drink water. next curly hair tip would be not specifically for summer just kind of whenever but it helps a lot with like frizzy hair with the humidity and stuff but once your hair is wet like after a shower make sure that you put all your product in right after that because for some reason I because for some reason I find that putting in my product after my hair is wet it really helps my curls be way more defined rather than putting it in when my hair is like halfway dry 
another tip that I have to help fight humidity is to apply gel to your hair. I'm not a big fan of gel myself, but if I know it's going to be really humid outside, I put the gel in my hair right after my hair is wet, like I said before, just to make sure that my hair isn't like looking like a lion at the end of the day. This really helps your hair stick together and helps your curls be more defined and yeah. And that kind of brings us into my next curly hair tip, which will be right after you slim, make sure that you go rinse your hair, or even better, wash your hair. Because even if you wet your hair before you slim, there's still going to be a little bit of damage done to it, and you really just don't want those chemicals just to sit in your hair forever. Right after you slim, girl, sprint to the bathroom, stick your head in the sink, and rinse all of that out. And then put in some of your leave-in conditioner to make sure that you get all of those chemicals out and bring that moisture right back in. last tip that I have for you guys which is the most important tip is since it's summer your hair is going to be natural a lot more just love your hair and love yourself and just feel beautiful no matter what or if it's frizzy if it's short if it's long if it's kinky curly if it's wavy it's you and it's beautiful don't change it for anything just just love your natural hair just just love it and yeah just have a great summer guys I love you so much thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on all my social media down below if you guys have any other ones that I didn't mention in this video make sure that you leave them down below in the comment section so you can like help a girl out you know check out Antonio's video <laughs> Go watch Antonio's video because he's awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bad girl doing young. <laughs> Mom's in the back. Mom. Hey. I want a photo mom. One time.